It's the Los Angeles Lakers, the defending NBA champions, facing the Vancouver Ravens. There is no better way to start off the new year than with the NBA here on 2K Sports. Joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. And now the Lakers starting group. Wood out there with LeBron James. Then there's Jordan Clarkson. Then there's Maxi, And it's Hartenstein in its center locking down the middle. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. Kev, it's always a great feeling to come out strong. But it is hard to maintain that consistency. Yeah, the agreed. teams that yeah. do, they, you know, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strengths. Why is consistency so hard? You know, because you're not playing against yourself. And we're human. And, Kevin, as great as you are as a broadcaster, you probably have had some days where you haven't felt, didn't feel as good as you did other days. And that's no different for a guy competing at this level. My friend, that's every day. Every day you don't feel <laughs> good about it. <laughs> but you grind, right? You just try that's to keep right. grinding. Got to do it. And James throws it down hard. Yes, and this is how you fire up your teammates. LeBron with a 10 on that one. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Wood against Parker. Just five to shoot. Vancouver needs to get off a shot here. Crawford with another miss. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Props in the layup for two. James has got six. Yeah, off contact. I'll take LeBron pretty much every time. Can't beat that kind of strength and body control. Now here's Crawford. And again, it's Vancouver missing. Oh, my God. They can't buy one. 0 for 4. Sometimes this happens. Finding a little rhythm here that they have to like where they're at. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. It'll be Vancouver with their first time out of the game here. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, GA, he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. Mellow ball. If you're just tuning in, we've played about two and a half minutes here in the first. To the inside, Crawford. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. And after missing four straight, he finally gets one to go. Lakers leading by six. Pass to Maxi. Lakers passing it around. Hartenstein passes to LeBron. Six to shoot. And James throws it down. Beautiful timing on the part of LeBron. Powerful move off the pick and roll. And so it's Ball with it. He brings it up for the Ravens. Outside, Jones. Outside, Ball. Crawford outside. Shoots over Clarkson. Crawford's shot is good. Love watching Crawford shoot the ball. The confidence he has in himself is what drives him. And the pass to Hartenstein. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It's often a tough call that can go either way, but I agree with you on that one. How about that mobile one block we just saw? Amazing defensive work. 
And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way, establishing the attitude you want. Now, here's Ball. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. The three, Jamal Crawford again. Crawford has been a solid outside shooter throughout his lengthy career. Got to at least get an arm up as he's going up. And it's blocked. And here's Jones. Passes it to Williams. It's blocked. And so it looks like Vancouver will retain possession here. Ball, the pass to Parker. Kicks it out to Crawford. Just five on the clock. Fires from deep. The will is there, but the execution is lacking. He can't seem to finish plays this quarter. Pass to Maxi. Here's Hartenstein. Here's Clarkson. And again, the Lakers, no good. In the corner, it's Crawford. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Crawford is very tricky. So good at drawing contact and getting chances at the line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Jamal Crawford. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And that one falls for Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford has won the sixth man of the year more times than any other player in NBA history. Just might have to name that award after him before it's all said and done. Both free throws good from Crawford. He's living there tonight, a tough guy to guard without fouling. And the bonus, he's going to knock him down. Wood passes to Clarkson. He gets that one. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Crawford outside. Jones dishes to Parker. Rebound the Lakers. This is the shot you want right at the rim. He just couldn't deliver. And the dunk by James. Crazy to think about how many seasons LeBron's played and how many nights we've seen him do this. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. Greg Tyrese Maxey is a guy some people have compared to Lou Williams. A constant threat to score. I mean, he's got a terrific mid-range and floater game. Very quick into the lane and a creative finisher. And on top of all that, he is clutch. Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope comes in for Jordan Clarkson. Vancouver trails by five. Outside, Jones. Pass to Crawford. Vancouver working the ball around now. Jones, no luck. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for the Ravens. And it's denied. Caldwell Pope against Crawford. Crawford with the steal. Now, here's Ball. He's guarded closely. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Lakers leading by five. The feed now to James. Oh! 
Oh, here he comes. That was amazing. And look Woo. at the elevation. The King, timeless, saying, I'm going to keep doing what I do until they catch up with me. Now here's Jones. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Right on the bucket. Taking things into his own hands this quarter, trying to keep his team afloat. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. I caught up with Vancouver's head coach. He made no secret of the fact that LeBron will be their focus defensively. He said we have to limit his opportunities at the rim. Guys have got to be ready to react, help, and cut off his drives. Sounds like LeBron can expect plenty of double teams as well. Back to you, Kevin. Okay, David, much appreciated. The pass to Williams. Back to Crawford. Five to shoot. There's the triple. Gets the three-pointer to fall. And now, just a two-point Laker lead. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. And that one is good from Hartenstein. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside and go strong to the rim. Outside, Jones. Back to ball. Crawford outside. And a miss there on the triple. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Now, here's Ball. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Crawford with another miss. Kuzma with it. Now guarded by Ball. Here's Maxi. No good from outside. Vancouver trails by six. Ball with the bucket. Look at the space he had on that one, though. There's an obvious speed mismatch between the two. In the corner, it's James. Trying to get open is Kuzma. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Nice touch on the jumper. Even at this stage in his career, LeBron's floor spacing ability continues to evolve. Now, here's Ball. Crawford with the ball. Williams for three. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. You look at Vancouver. So far, they've got the fourth-best record in the conference. And checking out the Lakers, a game behind. You know, for Los Angeles, most of the preseason predictions were right on the money when it came to them. I mean, a playoff contender, but not necessarily championship caliber. I agree. As good as they've been, they do seem like they're missing that true killer instinct that sets the great teams apart from the good ones. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. Craig, we hear this a lot. It's almost too popular now to say good offense beats good defense. Being a defensive-minded player yourself. Do you agree with that statement? Absolutely, Kevin. And, and the thing is, in today's game, when I played, there was an era, you know, you could hold teams in the 80s and 90s. Uh, you could go a quarter and keep them at 12, 15 points. You can't do that now. It's different. You've got to be able to, to win stretches of two and three minutes. Uh, and, and honestly, you're right. It, the offense does dictate far more. Uh, but it doesn't discount the importance of defense. And it, if you still look at the, the reigning champs and the teams that have won titles recently, that's still one area that they're consistent in is their defensive approach. And Los Angeles with some changes. Horton Tucker's checked in. And it's Green and for Maxi. Here's Horton Tucker. Passes it to Kuzma. Here's Caldwell Pope. Here's Hartenstein. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Lakers lead by eight. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. And for the Ravens, they come in off a good outing against the Nuggets. Pass to Jones. Williams up on top. Vancouver working the ball around now. Crawford's shot is good. No surprise. Crawford is lighting up the floor. This is a guy that has multiple 50-point games to his name. Caldwell Poe passes to Hartenstein, and that one is good. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Crawford outside. Back to ball. 
52 seconds left in the first quarter. Back to Crawford. The train. That's good. It's his seventh May basket in 14 tries. The defense decides to gamble off him, and he cashes in. Now, here's Kuzma. Here's Horton Tucker. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And he makes the first. Christian Woods checked in for Hartenstein. And he makes both free throws. Ravens with the ball. Seven point differential. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Pass to Jones. Back to Crawford. Right wing. Deep two from Ball. The shot missing. Decent look from mid-range, but there may have been a better option for them in that set. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers lead by seven. And don't go away. We'll be back with the action for the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Vancouver. They trail by seven. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So the Lakers five right now. They've got Kyle Kuzma. Clarkson is out there with Green. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive, and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Now, here's Ball. And the basket by Jones. And we always talk about making your teammate better. That assist was right on target. There's the pass to Clarkson. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. 13 feet away. That shot off. Good D by Parker. Crawford kicks the ball. Parker outside. Six on the shot clock. Another shot. Wood with the block. But he recovers it. Lakers leading by eight. Here's Horton Tucker. Down low. Here's Kuzma. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. When Kuzma first entered the league, the Lakers were a rebuilding team. Now Greg, he's one of the more experienced pieces on this team. And Kuzma's made the most of it. Switching to a learning role. Tries to absorb as much as he can from the vets. And he does everything he can to pick their brain and improve on those little things in terms of championship caliber basketball. First one falls for him. Greg, one of your former teammates, John Starks, would get under a guy's skin on the court. He's like a nuisance, but really opposite off the floor, away from the game. I'll tell you, Kev, John's got a heart of gold, and anybody that knows him is going to be a fan of the person. John is as good a friend as I can ever recall having. And the former Utah Ute, Kyle Kuzma, can play either forward spot. Has a good blend, uh, Smitty, of size and speed. 
Yes, Kevin, but right now I prefer him at the four. The reason why, he can stretch the floor, but he can tack a lot of those big forwards. And his shooting, it will get consistent as the years go on. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And it boils down to the question, toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And the dunk by Parker. And, and maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys in the bench. They are pumped up. Now, here's Kuzma. Back to Clarkson. Passes to Horton Tucker. Lock at six. Here's Kuzma. Score the basket. His second of two attempts. Anytime you watch Kyle, you see the production. Plus, you see the potential for more. Crawford outside. Pass to Jones. Back to Crawford. They get the rebound. They are just killing them on the interior. Now about three minutes gone in this second quarter of basketball. Kicks to Green. Now Clarkson, five points in the game. Inside, here's Jones, and Jones with the stop. A oh, power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. That could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. Parker against Clarkson, and good that time. Clarkson's got five points now in the quarter. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Ball, the pass to Jones. There's Crawford with the three. Goes back up, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. And the foul called on the Los Angeles Lakers. Just such a physical player. Williams has no off switch, he is, which is how he gets these calls. Shooting two. That's good from Williams. A serious talent when Robert Williams is healthy. He makes his presence felt. Has great length and lift off the floor. Defensively, he protects the rim and even blocks shots out on the perimeter. Axie's checked in for the Lakers. And Williams drops them both. And then offensively, Williams is mostly a rim runner at this point. But, Greg, there are signs that the jumper is coming along. Yeah, you know, when he was drafted at the end of the first round, there was a lot of talk about rebuilding his shot mechanics. And that's still a work in progress. But where he's really impressed people is with his passing. He has terrific instincts for the game. Shut out in the first quarter. He's heating up now. I like the aggressiveness. And here's Maxi. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pass to Wood. Excellent D there from Ball. Vancouver trails by four. It's Jones on the way. Back to Ball. Jones the pass to Ball. Now Crawford. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jabari Parker. That's foul number two for him. LeBron's checked in for the Lakers. Lakers substitution. LeBron James. The pass to Kuzma. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And so Crawford will bring it up for the Ravens. Four-point game. Ball finds Williams. It's Crawford on the wing. Shoots over Clarkson. He can't get it to go. 
And the Lakers go on the other way now. Defeated by the Pelicans in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. I mean, in the modern era, you have to be able to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle. Reason why, that opens up driving lanes. Makes it dangerous for teams to double you in the post. The offense becomes more dynamic. And bringing a lot of excitement to the game. LaMelo is a crowd pleaser, a flashy playmaker with deep, deep range. And part of the now famous ball family, LaMelo following Greg in the footsteps of his brother, Lonzo. And both have great height for the point guard position, elite vision. LaMelo's coming in as a better shooter. Lonzo came in as the better defender. But, but I think any team would be happy to have either one. And he knocks down the first one. And the Lakers with some changes. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Kentavious Caldwell Pope in for Jordan Clarkson. Ball hits them both. Now the superstar players always get the headlines, but you need more great role players, it seems, as you look at the history of champions, to win. Uh, so that being said, Greg, what kind of role players do you look for? You know, Kevin, it starts on your best player, and I think you go from there. Obviously, in today's game, spot-up shooting is critically important. And then you got to factor in versatility. You need guys that can guard multiple positions, uh, that give you some rim protection, but obviously that can also shoot the basketball. And you, you, I think it's critical having that instant offense guy coming off the bench as well to when your team's in a bit of a funk, somebody you can trust to kind of light a fire. Good point. Now Crawford, after LeBron's three-pointer that didn't go. Ball, the pass to Williams to the paint. Here's Crawford, and he dunks it down. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here's James. He's two on. Now he is nine of ten. The quick first step of James, along with his power, that's the difference on the drive. Crawford outside. Jones dishes to Parker. Five on the clock. Stolen away. Tries from 16. Vancouver pulls it in. Four on three break. Outside ball. Parker outside. Back to ball. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Williams. And again, it's Vancouver missing. Lakers leading by four. And James throws it down. He's pushing the action, getting others involved. He does it time and time again. You know what it is? It's his creativity. That's making this engine run. Now here's Crawford. He's got 21. Williams kicks the ball. Shot clock at six. There's the three. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got his sixth rebound on the night. James finds Caldwell Pope. Vancouver trails by six. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And he's been way off the mark this quarter. It's been ugly. It drops for his second made shot of this game. An unimpressive two of seven, though. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Passes it to Jones. Crawford outside. They could use a bucket. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crawford. Crawford. 
Here's Maxey. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Timeout called the Lakers. And, and Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. Fifty-seven left to play here in the second quarter. That shot by Caldwell Pope, no good. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Here's Ball, and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Ball's got six. And despite the hot start from beyond, they've gotten away from shooting the triple. James and Jones sends it back. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. The Lakers making a switch here. Green's checked in. James in the post. Working on Jones. And there's Green on the assist by James. Green's got his first points in this one. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Pass the ball. Just five to shoot. 18 feet away, and he knocks it down. Ball's got six here in this quarter. And just a nice job there to shake free of the D inside and then drain the jump. Hartenstein can't get it to go. And here's Ball. He'll bring it up for Vancouver. They trail by six. Pass to Jones. Outside, Ball. He feeds it to Parker. Hard to catch up when you can't hit shots. This is a quarter he liked to forget. James against Crawford. Yep, that one goes. LeBron's got 22. Driving with that kind of speed and power, LeBron bulldozes his way through contact. Here's Crawford. Great tee that time from Green. And that does it for the first half of play. Lakers on top, up eight. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 22 points, five rebounds, and one assist. He seems to have carried the momentum from his last game right into tonight. Shaq, what do you think about the Lakers? The story has been the versatility of Giannis. His ability to dominate in every statistical, mephistical, ballistical category. He's the gold standard of the position as a basketball. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about this home team? It looked like they were shooting threes blindfolded. Sometimes you could get cold, but that was atrocious. It was scary. But they also looked scattered out there, and I think that disorganization was the main issue for them missing those shots. They need to establish themselves better into a better rhythm in the second half and avoid relying so heavily on the three-point shot. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. Welcome back. The calendar has flipped over, and so have we into the second half of our broadcast. It's been a clinic out there by James. 
His play so far is what fans love about him. He, he has gone right at the defense time and time again. And not standing around, not settling for perimeter shots. He's looking to attack. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Vancouver trails by eight. Jabari Parker is out there with Williams. Then it's Ball. Then it's Crawford. And it's Jones in at the three, the small forward. Parker finds Jones. To the middle. Ball with the bucket. Ball's got ten points in the game. Terrific play call to give him a clean look at the rim. That's how you want to start the second half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And for the Lakers. Actually out there with Jordan Clarkson. Then it's LeBron James. Then it's Christian Wood. And it's Hartenstein in at the five down low. And for Vancouver, Derek Jones is out there with Jabari Parker. Then it's Williams. Then it's Ball. And it's Crawford at the two point. And you got to love the big bucket in the paint in this sort of a grinded out game. Clarkson against Parker. Clarkson bounce pass. Takes a three. And again, the Lakers no good. Starting the half with three straight misses. Not how they envisioned this one. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Clarkson with the ball. He's got seven. The shot, no good. Excellent D there from Williams. Missed four straight shots now. At one point, do you have to call a timeout and regroup? Boy, you can see their confidence growing. They have reason to believe. Yeah, the reason is they tied it up, but it took a lot of focus and a lot of energy. We'll see if they can sustain this effort. Good. Now, here's Ball. He's got 10. Now a timeout called by the Ravens. You look at James, what a contribution. The man has been relentless scoring inside, attacking the rim every chance he gets. Their defense has been powerless to stop him. We'll see what adjustments they make coming out of this timeout. gone by here in the third to the inside ball and ball slams it in big hops from the backcourt oh, absolutely and maybe just what they need to get this game GA going in their direction it's a tight contest those type of plays can fire up your team and swing momentum here's Crawford following the basket by LeBron James ball kicks to Jones Back to ball. Six on the shot clock. A floater. It's blocked. On the wing, James. 24 points for him. Yeah, he's kicking himself. No defenders to be found in that mid-range area. Count that one. Ball's got 14 points. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Lakers passing it around. Kuzma outside. Misses the three. Here's the Ravens with the ball. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Here's Crawford. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against the Lakers. Vancouver shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Taking two shots.
Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. The Lakers making a switch here. Horton Tucker's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. The Lakers on offense. Axie passes to Clarkson. And there's the pass to Horton Tucker. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. LaMelo Ball picks one up. And you know, Clarkson... Entering the league as a second-round pick. A, a little unsung for most of his career, but always seems to find a way to contribute. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He throw good. Clarkson. Both free throws good for Clarkson. Here's the Ravens with the ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Passes it to Jones. And again, it's Vancouver missing. And the Lakers have possession. Here's Maxi. And the layup falls. Maxi's got four this quarter. That's just good basketball. Can't ask for a better look. Crawford outside. Outside ball. Shot clock at five. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. For Vancouver, they have been a perfect eight of eight at the line. good from ball so it's the Lakers now it's a one point game Maxi passes to Kuzma Clarkson looking for an opening six to shoot Kuzma finds Clarkson a three pointer is right on target Clarkson's got 12 in the game Great dime from Kuzma there, assessing the situation and making the right play. Back to Crawford. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Jones has got six assists here tonight. Nice job. Those passes have to be right on the money around the painted area. Now here's Kuzma. He has six. Here's Maxi. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Maxi's got six in the quarter. After putting up zeros in the first half, he is making up for it big time now. Screen, screen, screen. Pass to Jones. Outside ball. Crawford, no one around him. Hits it from three-point range. Crawford's got 30. Continuing for where he left off. First three-pointer of this half, fourth of the game. Los Angeles calls timeout. Jamal Crawford really making a difference here. You have to make it harder for score. Deny the ball, even double, whatever it takes to force someone else to beat you.
for some changes. Green comes in for Jordan Clarkson, and it's Caldwell Pope in for Maxi. Here's Hartenstein. He's guarded by Williams. To the paint. Out to Kuzma. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Horton Tucker. Vancouver pulls it in. Parker's got eight rebounds in this game. In the corner, it's Crawford. From outside, off the mark. And it's Kuzma with the ball for Los Angeles. Caldwell Pope, left side. Pass to Horton Tucker. Shot from 12. Rebound by Williams. They've been doing a great job of sharing the ball. And guys, shot A comes to mind for me because right now that offense, it's a smooth operator. And you talk about the perfect veteran wing player. Danny Green's right at the top of that list. Solid defense, good shooter, and plays within himself. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And Greg, the experiences that Danny Green has had over the course of his terrific career, it's hard to match. I mean, he's won multiple titles in his career, done so in different places with different types of teams. He's seen it all and knows what it takes to succeed. That free throw good from Caldwell Pope. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. He hits both from the stripe. Here's Ball. 17 points in the game. Outside, Jones. Green against Crawford. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Crawford's got 11 here in this quarter alone. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. Green passes to Kuzma. Here's Horton Tucker. Four on the shot clock. Tries it from 19, and the shot goes down. Third quarter, guys, and this has been a neck-and-neck -neck game. Both teams getting it done defensively, as evidenced by the eight lead changes thus far. Now here's Crawford. He's got 32. Vancouver working the ball around now. Parker kicks to Jones. Crawford against Green. But they get it back. Williams passes to Jones. Parker inside. Guarded by Kuzma. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. So Parker will go to the free throw line. Kyle Kuzma picks one up. For Vancouver, they have an exceptional shooting free throws tonight. Going nine for nine. Wood, he's checked in for Hartenstein. And that one falls for Parker. Impeccable from the line since halftime. The Lakers trail. Horton Tucker, the pass to Caldwell Pope. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. So it's the Lakers now. After Vancouver picking up a basket just moments ago. And Parker with the block. And he's able to get it back. Kuzma can't get it to go. Vancouver leading by four. Crawford outside. No good. Shot missing. Great tee that time from Green. On its way from Caldwell Pope for two. And that one's on target from the wing. And Caldwell Pope, a solid shooter, and I think he'll only get better with time. Jones kicks the ball. Down low. And Jones gets it to go in on the assist by Williams. Jones has got the lead up to four now for Vancouver. Caldwell Pope outside. The pass to Wood. Here's Horton Tucker. 
And another three for the Lakers. And, and guarding him on the perimeter isn't a priority for them right now, but if this continues, it will be. Outside, Jones. Kuzma brings the double team. Now, here's Ball. Guarded closer. That one misses. Passes to Kuzma. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. In the paint, Kuzma goes on the attack, making sure to play into the foul. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Taking two shots. Shooting two. That one is off. One of several late first round steals in the 2017 draft. Kuzma has a higher ceiling than many scouts anticipated. Los Angeles making a switch here. James is checked in. And it's tied up with that one. He wanted to get his team the lead. And even though he didn't, he should feel good. At least he tied it up. Ravens with the ball. Crawford outside. Pass to Jones. Outside ball. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. For the lead. Second chance shot. He takes it up and lays it in. And the Lakers lead by two. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. Ball, the pass to Crawford. Just five to shoot. Parker, and he banks in the layup. Parker's got it all tied up now for Vancouver. You know, Jamal Crawford's just a great team player. He will take the shot, but if he sees a teammate more open, then he'll zip it right to him. Third quarter comes to a close, and a battle brings it to a tie. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. This is why you preach teamwork. Some of the most spectacular plays are the ones where guys are feeding off one another. And I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. So for the Lakers right now, LeBron and Kuzma make up the forwards. Contavious Caldwell Pope is out there with Green, and it's Wood in at the five spot. The power of LeBron, even if you try to give the hard foul, he'll go right through you. Steve, one thing I always think of when I watch LeBron, how much fun it must be to be a teammate of his. You know, Kevin, I wish I could have played with a guy like LeBron James. You get so many open looks and easy finishes with him on the court. One of the easiest superstars to play with, bar none. You know, maybe the most storied high school player ever. It's amazing to think that LeBron's exceeded expectation here at the pro level. Now here's Jones. Williams kicks to Parker. The Lakers with the rebound. James has got his sixth rebound on the night. Caldwell Pope for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. And the Lakers lead by six. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the game, something to build on. Jones looking for an opening. Back to Crawford. Outside Williams. From deep three-point range, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. James has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And LeBron throws it down. Somebody's got to rotate over, but who wants to step in front of LeBron? Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Williams finds ball. Crawford against Caldwell Pope. Ball with a wide open look. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Los Angeles leading by eight. Feeds it to LeBron. And LeBron throws it down hard. We 
really, really good possession there. They've never lost their focus, even as the game's gotten tight. With their lead starting to stretch out just a little bit here late, they're in a prime position now to wrap this one up. Now, here's Ball. Back to Crawford. Releases. And too long on the shot. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. At the line for two. Shooting two. And the first one drops. Clarkson, he's checked in for the Lakers. Both shots good from the strike. Vancouver trails by 12. Outside, Jones. Crawford passes the ball. Now here's Parker. Shoots over Kuzma. Parker's shot is off. Inside. And LeBron throws it down. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Pass to Crawford. Kuzma against Parker. Crawford looking over the floor. And here are the Lakers. Right now on a 14-0 run. In the corner, it's Clarkson. No good on the three. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. And that one's good. Parker. He's been a different guy here in the second half. His shooting percentage far better than it was before the break. Now the pass to Maxi. Oh, Kuzma's in position. An emphatic LU jam. And that's a nice pass. The patience of LeBron to let the play develop. Crawford passes to Parker. Throws it up high. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley -oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. The feed to James. And the dunk by James. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Now here's Jones. Back to Crawford. Stolen by Clarkson. Last break, the Lakers. And Kuzma slams it in. This is what you like to see. Kuzma not selling for something along the perimeter. In fact, just the opposite. Crawford outside. Pass to Jones. Vancouver working the ball around now. Ball with the bucket. And after an abysmal first half from the field, the shot's now starting to fall. Clarkson on the wing. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for Vancouver. They trail by 16. And the dunk by Parker. Sky high. One of his advantages has an undersized four. Now here's James. The shot will not fall. Good D by Parker. Crawford outside. Pass the ball. Parker against Kuzma. Fader on the way. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Parker's got 15 points in just the second half. Pass to Clarkson. Now LeBron. A three. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got rebound number 17, if you can believe that. Jones kicks to Williams. The pass to Ball. Williams dishes to Crawford. Five to shoot. Passes it to Parker. Jones for three. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Jones has got to back down to single digits for the Ravens. Los Angeles calls timeout. And Coach can't like what he's seeing, trying to get them refocused. 
It's so easy to get run over when you lose even a little edge. Look for them to come out much more aggressive. LeBron James. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. He's really seemed to feed off the hostile environment he's been faced with tonight. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. He said, guys, we don't want to play hero ball. We don't want to take threes that aren't there. There are better options when you run the offense all the way through. Ever will see if they can make that adjustment. Outside, Jones. Back to ball. Crawford outside. His three-pointers off the mark. Man, at what point do you blame the play calling more than the player? He muscles it in through the contact, and they call the foul. And he's on his way to the free throw line. What a play there. The hoop plus the harm. One shot. And that one misses. Vancouver trails by 13 to the middle. Here's Parker. Rebounded by the Lakers. Hartenstein's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Pass to Maxi. And no one near Clarkson as he lets it go. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got three assists now in this one. Crawford outside. Back to ball. And that one drops. Ball's got 13 points here in the second half alone. And they're showing much more focus here in the second half. More effort as well. And their offense starting to show signs of life. Now here's LeBron. Back to Clarkson. And the three off target. Parker passes to Crawford. And it's Parker at the elbow. On the wing, Jamal Crawford. Lock at six. Nobody near Parker. That one doesn't go. And it's the Lakers the other way. They led by as many as 18 points. Now, here's Maxi. He's guarded by Williams. Here's Wood. And it's good for two. And the Lakers lead by 16. And Matador defense, that's one of the time easiest time shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Now a timeout called by Vancouver. And he could tell his guys were dragging a little bit, calling timeout to kind of let them catch their breath.
down low. Feeds it to Williams. It's deflected. Now LeBron. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. The What's indestructible up? one. LeBron brushing off contact for the easy deuce. One shot. And Vancouver with the possession here. 19-point game. Outside, Jones. Crawford against Clarkson. Jones kicks to Crawford. Shot clock at six. And stolen by LeBron. A minute 50 left here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Wood. Inside, Maxi. Sweet little floater. Maxie's got 10 points here in the second half. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Outside, Jones. There's the pass to Crawford. And here is Parker. Shot clock at five. Dishes at the ball. There's Crawford with the three. It's hauled in by Wood. Wood's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Lakers. You don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this kind of punishment. They definitely never changed the approach. They just kept after it and showed they were clearly the better team in just about every single category. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for LeBron. High-level shot making what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Here's Crawford. Oh, the officials are all over that one. That's his fourth personal foul. At the line for Vancouver, Jamal Crawford. At the line for two. Two shots. Relax on the first. First free throw is good. And so he hits both. Six seconds left in the fourth quarter. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.